and welcome back to the Scandinavian Getaway with me, GWFM, and we are on episode 12, and you might be looking and thinking, gee, what are we looking at here? I've applied for other jobs, uh, the Finland jobs that there were, I had a quick look and see who could apply for, they, didn't, they weren't interested in me, didn't even get to interview stage. One thing I will say is, I've got some interviews, now I'm not forced to get the jobs, but uh, I've applied and had interviews for all these three in Division 1 Nora, and then Floro SK in the second division, Advideling uh, 2, uh, in Norway. So it's a bit of a change, but I'm thinking if we go to a lower part of one of the other ladders, it might still increase in reputation, which allows us to get the other jobs in Finland, etc., etc., and then we should be on his way. It looks like it could be something that's needed to be done. Um, it's just a bit, a bit of a pain in the ass. It's not going how I wanted it to be planned. I've got to get away... As you're aware, from oh, that way rather than, I don't even know where he is. But uh, Thomas Fister, obviously you saw I got the heads up from uh, Abood. So we'll have to uh, get out of here quick sharp. But before that, we have got two games, two live comms. Uh, one is against NSI, uh, second team, of course, in the Cup, which, uh, you know, you can see all the results we've had since last time he joined us. But there was a game put back. Scarlet are in the Europe, as I mentioned before. And they have got a game against Kilmarnock in the one of the knockout rounds of the Europa League. So their game got put back. So therefore, I'm going to do NSI second team. The the, the second tie, uh, second leg, sorry, of the third round or quarterfinal cup stage. And then we're going to play HB2 afterwards. But in between, last time he joined us, it was for the EB streamer uh, and Scarlet game where we lost against Scarlet last time and drew 2-2 with streamer. But we got, went through uh, by one goal. Since then, a couple of very big victories. First against uh, one of today's well, one of today's opponents in HB2. Beat them 6-1. Then we, uh, and you can see all the goal scores, of course. Then IF2, we beat them 5-0 away from home. Pretty comprehensive. Then B68 Tofta. These are the team, this was the team who had not dropped a single point. But the, I think the, the game before the Drew with a second in the league, uh, Bolt Falag. So I was... Thinking we've had a decent spell there. Scored 11 goals and I conceded one. I fancied his chances. It was the last game before I turned it off. And we won 3-2. And they got a late, uh, a late consolation. Or did we get a late winner? Yeah, they scored. And then we went down the other end and scored. But we got it back to 2-2. And I was devastated. Um, I think I think that's how it happened, if I remember rightly. But then we got destroyed again for the second time. Same scoreline. 6-2 against Bolt Flag. A pain in the dick. And then after that... KI2, second and bottom, absolutely destroyed him 4 0. Again, should have been more, really, to be fair. We had a hell of a lot of chances, <clears throat> but uh, it, it, it was what it was. Then we played Viking and Goto with bottom of the league, and they have lost their bottom of the league, and they've only lost by like literally one goal or two goals. I think two goals a couple of times, all other times, one goal. So they're a lot better than what they're, they're playing like, to be fair. Then we played uh, the first leg <clears throat> against today's opponents, NSI 2, and this goal. Is what uh, is the reason why we are ahead. Let me just find it for you. Putting it over the top, easy to defend. Benjaminson. I mean, it's just shit, isn't it? I mean, I, I've had that happen to me at least seven times on this FM. It's disgusting. But yeah, we ended up winning that game. We did FM them, and then we got beat by them in the, the league game against them. Um, we were 3 0 down, got a late consolation. It was pretty much deserved, I think. We just didn't defend very well at all. Missed a couple of decent chances, but that's it. But today, we've got NSI 2 and HB2. Um, NSI 2, uh, I don't know how this is going to go because they do seem to ha have the better of us in terms of chances. So it's going to be a tight game. Uh, but let's just get into it, shall we? There's been, there's, the transfer window is open. It's still open. I haven't signed anyone yet. The one place I think I do need is right back. And there's no right backs whatsoever. When I go to me, Derek's in football, which I have got one. He's not very good. It's not worth showing. We've got, I think, sixes for the... Uh, potential and ability but anyway let's get into today's game that's enough jibber jabber for this episode right so here we go we're going the usual suspects at the back um yeah it's largely the same the log justison hansen on the left van pulson in the middle of defense got johnson on the side eggy i've renamed it eggy now solheim comes in at left wing uh absolonson is back from injury uh, after his long injury layoff he's in the right midfield got johansson and nielsen up top They've got one player with a real face. He scored a couple of goals against us, I think, last time. I'm hoping he's not going to repeat that. But now, I mean, we've got complacency. They did beat us last time. I'm not able to say, you know, the obvious revenge thing. But uh, 
complacency, I think, is the way to go. And then we'll just quickly give it a little bit of faith and hopefully sort us out. There we go. Right. Invisible hand touch there. We're like that far away. But yeah, no, no. It happens all the time, doesn't it? Look at the size of the stadium. I didn't realise it was that big. But uh, we do share with four other teams, or three other teams at least. So maybe it has to be big. That's what she said. Played in field. It's a long punted ball. Hanson heads needlessly. Could have brought it down. But instead he concedes a goal. Cheers, big man. Come on. Counter. Here we go. Nelson, Nielsen heads it down. Johansson. The two form forwards. Johansson smashes it straight at the keeper. And he parries it over. Corner's going to come to nothing. I can guarantee you that. Let's not forget, I think, as it stands. I don't know if... I still haven't checked it out. But I don't know if away goals counts. But as it stands, we've got a better... We scored three goals. This is going to be a goal. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, no. No. I, I thought I could smell it. But never mind. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a goal for us. That's why I could smell it. That's what I could smell. Sweaty. There we go. Back in front in terms of the tie. But yeah, the, the away goals thing, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but hopefully we'll come to that and we'll get, go through, hopefully, a bit more comfortably than the last couple of rounds. Because, uh, well, we're not the rounds, the second round, the last round, whatever it was. But no, they're going to go in front and now it's on a knife edge because the goal difference, sorry, not goal difference, the, well, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, here we go, corner. Can we score it? Come on, Solheim. Nielsen! Oh, I powered it wide. Never mind. We've got another corner. Come on, boys. We need to defend better. It's headed back out to the Olsen. Can he whip it back in? It, it's kind of done. Oh, the log there claims it. Good man. Is this a chance for us? Absolunson. Square it, mate. It does. Nielsen! Get in! Get in. This is... A, my ass is like this, you know. I don't, I don't know why. Oh, another highlight just before half time. Come on, boys. Stay in front. Ideally, get a second goal. Go 3 2 in front. Oh, right, here we go. Johansson. Score it, mate. Oh, it's pretty wide. Right, so I'm just going to say we're still winning an aggregate, but do not let ourselves get complacent because that is the way you need to go, I, th I believe, in the thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart, but come on, bit of faith. Turn. Ah, oh, stressed. Right, I think substitutions are going to be key in this game. I mean, it's 2 2, 5 4 to us overall. Be a great result if we can see it at. B68, or what they call Toft here, the team at the top of the league. Although we have beaten them once this season, they are losing at the moment. Benjamin Sano, there we go. Sweaty goals, just like, I can't really complain, we did it. But it's 3 2, and it's neck on neck in terms of the score now. So away goals, whether it counts now, it's out completely out of his hands. Right. Just so you know, I made all three changes, including Gollum, who then subsequently got injured. So we're out of 10. Is it going to matter? Come on, boys. Oh, it's cleared away now. Pulsing though, it does well. Right. Pass it forward to Justison. Plays a delightful ball for Nielsen. He's up front on his own. And he scored. Come on, boys. Ten men. Get concentrated like orange juice, pal. Here we go. Oh, great challenge, Johansson. But it's still with them. And it's like, oh, Hansen, you animal. Gets there. Nielsen on his own at the moment. He's got no support whatsoever because he's on his own up front. Does still find Danielson. It was a shocking ball, to be fair. Start again. Eggy. Squares it to Johansson. Giving it away, though. Justison, hit it down the line, pal. Keep it in the corner, Danielson. Oh, we're pitting. That's good, too. If you score from it... Oh, it's headed it over. I think we've done it, boys. I think we've done it. And it's going to be that shitty goal, that own goal that I showed you before. That's going to have won it for us. <laughs> we've done it, boys. We're in semi-final. What a journey this is. We might not even be around for the semi-final. But uh, that was fantastic, boys. Well done. Um, give a little bit of credit to Nielsen, who somehow, with the 9.2, does not have the man of the match. But yeah, you were spectacular, mate. Thanks for reacting. But we've done very well there. With 10 men, we've managed to sneak a win. But anyway, on to the next game against HB2. But before that, we've got the draw. I might as well automatic draw it. Come on, boys. Who are we get? Who are we getting? Who are we getting? TBFCS Roin. There's a scar. That means we have got Viking Gota. Or... KL Klaxvik, which we played Viking Agota in pre-season and they destroyed us. It was 4-1. That was the worst result of pre-season. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. You know, I would have liked to have got on this team here. Or even one of these two, to be fair, even though they're the better teams. But uh, we're one of the better teams. We're third in the league, which I haven't shown you yet. But I will show you um, momentarily. So that's where we're at at the minute. 16 games played, pretty much the halfway stage, I want to say. And we're 13 points off going up. So I don't think we're going to be going up this season. Uh, bottom of the flag, uh, close behind in second. 
Um, and we're nine, eight, 11 points behind them. So, but it does look like we're going to be not going getting relegated. We've got a good 26 points on Viking and Gutter. So, we're, in, in essence, I've kind of taken these as far as I think I can do, unless we get some sort of injection of cash next season. Because if I quickly just show you the finances... You know, we, we, we're roughly between 1,000 and 2,000, like, all the way through. We seem to be, we seem to decline. Maybe as attendances have gone up because of our excellent flowing football. But um, I don't know. We just seem to make a little bit and then lose a little bit and then make a little bit and we're just hovering. Let's just say that. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Let's, let's get into the second game. Right then, guys. A bit of news before we get into it. Um, I've delayed a job, like, basically. I've been given a job. And I've delayed it for a second week because it was literally the, the last thing to do before going into this game. I thought, I'll get this game out of the way and because I think, I think I'm going to take it. It's most likely I'm going to take it. Um, I'm already pre-recording this so I can get ahead to try and get the videos out for you guys. So I apologise if, if you want me to stay here forever. But I've got to move on. You know, this team, it's not looking like I'm not going to be able to get them anywhere. Yes, there's a slight chance of getting them into the Europe uh, via the Cup, you know, competition. But I can't see us winning that, if I'm honest with you. Uh, but I'm going to take it. Uh, I've got to sort out some kits and stuff, which is why I'm not showing you the team yet. I'll get the kits out because I've got the logo. The logo's there, but the kits are just like the generic ones. So I don't really want to show you that. I want to make sure that everything's right beforehand. But anyway, into this game, which could be our last game. Let's go out on a high. We've got the log in goal. We've got Justin at right back, Hansen at left back with Van and Paulson in the middle of defence. Johansson alongside Olsen in the middle of the park. We've got Jacobson on the left, Absalonson on the right with Johansson and Nielsen up top. Come on, boys. Let's kick some ass. Let's send us out on a high. The rumours are rife that I'm going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to be okay. going to be leaving. Um... So, if that is definitely going to be the case, I ain't told you yet, you know, let's send us out on a high. Uh, another reason is I'm, I'm doing it is because I was going to sort out all the kits first and everything, and then uh, I, Alice is out at the minute, we're young, and, and she just takes the she's on her way back. So, I want to get this done, <laughs> out of the way, so then I can do all the editing stuff later on, you know, and let us crack on. I've got to progress, progress the story. I've got to move on. I've got, that, I've got my ways in my head of how I want to progress the story. Um, and it does involve moving on sometimes at the wrong time of the season. Like now, I'd have liked to have gone at the beginning of the season, if I'm honest with you. But unfortunately, there was no jobs. But now there seems to be an abundance of jobs. And there's a, an abundance of goals going to be here as well to send us off on his way. Johansson with the goal there. Yippee! It must be said as well, by the way, uh, that the I've, I've had a few interviews, to be fair. And they all seem to be impressed with how I've done with this team, basically being a, basically an underdog as such. And achieve overachieving, I think is what they were saying. Uh, so I think that's what's impressed a lot of the teams. Nielsen. There was one team. There was one job I wanted in Norway, and I, and they I said I was, they said I was unsuccessful after the interview, which is a bit of a pain because all the kits on that were ready. <laughs> but never mind. But there's another goal. Um, just have, I will have a look at this particular highlight. Nielsen smashes it home. Get in. I'm feeling a bit emotional. I think I've got attached to this team. I'll, I'll have to have a look and see what which players I bring across with us. Like, I like how Egg is performed, but I don't know if he's going to be good enough. And is a must. No, you're going to take Arnold, even though he doesn't play that much anymore. It's still like the third choice striker, though. Him and Gollum between them. I rotate them. But here's now fucking hell. Can someone fix that? Can someone get Trippin Hammond and nail that? Trippin fix that back together, the uh, woodwork. It's been all us so far. They've not even had a sniff. There's another goal. Johansson. He's one of my tech with me because he's been exceptional. Inconsistent, but exceptional. That's what I've just said, keep it up, boys. There's not else really to say. We're winning 3 0. We're destroying them. We're limiting them to, you know, very minor chances. Or a chance, should I say. So I've made all three changes, but <laughs> this is the first highlight since. It's just gone, gone to like a casual lull, lull. I think the emotions are getting to the players and just like, you know, like when David Beckham went off uh, after like, like finishing his career at PSG and uh, started crying five minutes before the end. That's how I feel now. I feel. Uh, like I've got a connection to Undridge, uh, Undrid, sorry, that's how connected I am, I can't even say the name right, to Undrid for the foreseeable future. But um, it is what it is, they're going to probably get a consolation here, just to ru ruin the day, there it is, 3-1, but it's too little too late for them. But yeah, fantastic result, um, it was a real jack and a high performance, yeah, doesn't matter mate, you're probably not going to see me again. So yeah, fantastic stuff, 
Doing very, very well. Not going to get relegated at all. I, I can't be happier with the performance in this division. I mean, we were expected to, to finish bottom by quite some distance. But it is what it is. But anyway, should, for whatever reason, I change my mind, I would say we'll be coming back for the cup games. Hopefully, you have enjoyed not only the, the this video, but the whole... Uh, this part of, this, of the series has been in Faroe Islands with Undred. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have as well. There's been a hell of a lot of goals. And hopefully we can see more goals in uh, the future to come in uh, whichever country. I won't spoil it for you just yet. But yeah, hopefully if, if you're new as well, please go ahead and subscribe. Then as well, the notification bell. Press that as well. It'd be greatly appreciated. You're all legends. Hopefully join us at my new club. And until then, I will see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>